Welcome. This is a short video just to show you how to use um, R Markdown in R Studio. So when you open R Studio, you will see a screen like this. And to open a Markdown file, you can click here on the little plus sign with the empty page and click on R Markdown. This will open a window where you can select the title and author name. So I will just call this video one. Um, and we leave the default at HTML. We'll talk about other options later in the course. And you will see here a new screen opening with some example markdown code that we don't really use. Um, and the title here and the author name, etc. So we can remove all this. Nice samples. But... So to, cut, to write some markdown code, uh, markdown is a text formatting tool. So you can use a hash for titles. Uh, or two hashes for a subtitle. And then an important part is to write R code chunks that will be compiled when you produce the HTML file. So we use these, this symbol here uh, and this part to type in the R code. For example, this opens a built-in data set in R and then this shows the first few lines of that code. We can then click on knit HTML here up, up on top and this will produce the code file, which we have to save first. Uh, where did I save it? So I will call it video one. And then it will produce the HTML file here. It will have the title, the subtitles we put, the code that we put, and the output of the code. So the nice part of Markdown is that you can format nicely your text, include the commands, and include the output. And this also includes, for example, a nice plot. So we can make um, the braking distance of a car as a function of the speed that the car was driving. We can knit HTML again, and we will get a new file that has a plot of this uh, output. Now, the final important thing here to know is that in R, you normally work in the console here at the bottom, whereas the knit HTML code produces the HTML file on the right. Um, so you can also run the code at the bottom if you want by clicking here on this little arrow and say run current chunk. So this very short video shows you how to create a new markdown file, how to save it, how to compile the HTML file and how to run the code in the regular R environment if you do not yet want to create the HTML file. For example, when you want to test the code. Thank you for watching.